We're asked to multiply each decimal by 10, 100, and 1,000. Because we use a base 10 number system, when multiplying by 10, we can always determine the product by moving the decimal point to the right one place. To better understand this, let's look at a whole number times powers of 10. For example, we know that five times 10 is 50, five times 100 is 500, and five times 1,000 is 5,000. Let's determine these products by moving the decimal point on five. The number five has a decimal point to the right as shown here. For five times 10, we move the decimal point to the right one place. So beginning with five, move the decimal point to the right one place to make five 10 times larger. We have a missing digit here. We always replace missing digits with zeros which does give us a product of 50. And again, the reason this works is if we look at the place value chart below, notice how here the five is in the ones place value. After moving the decimal point one place to the right, the five is now in the tens place value, which makes 50 10 times larger than five. Looking at the place value chart, each place value to the left is 10 times larger than the place value to the right. Next we have five times 100. Because 100 is 10 times 10, we move the decimal point two places to the right. So to make five 100 times larger, again we move the decimal point right two places, fill in the missing digits with zeros, which gives us the product 500. Notice here the five is in the ones place value. After multiplying by 100, the five is in the hundreds place value, verifying 500 is 100 times larger than five. And finally we have five times 1,000 because 1,000 is 10 times 10 times 10. To determine the product, we move the decimal three places to the right. One, two, three. Fill in the missing digits, which does give us the product 5,000. It is important though when showing work that you not leave your final product in this form here. This is the work, this is the final product. And now let's go back to the first problem. Let's first multiply each decimal by 10, which means you move the decimal point one place to the right. For 0 0.5 times 10, if you move the decimal point right one place, notice there are no missing digits, this gives us the product five. For 1.78 times 10, again we move the decimal point one place to the right. There are no missing digits. The decimal point is now between the seven and the eight. The product is 17.8. And for 3.423 times 10, move the decimal point one place to the right. It's now between the four and the two giving us the product 34.23. In the next row, we are multiplying by 100. Because 100 is equal to 10 times 10, we move the decimal point two places to the right. For 0 0.5 times 100, if we move the decimal two places to the right, we do have one missing digit, which we replace with zero, giving us the product 50. For 1.78 times 100, if we move the decimal point to the right two places, one, two, no missing digits, the product is 178. And for 3.423 times 100, move the decimal two places to the right, one, two, no missing digits, the decimal point is between the two and the three, giving us a product of 342.3. And then for the last row, we multiply by 1,000. 1,000 equals 10 times 10 times 10, which means we move the decimal point three places to the right. For 0 0.5 times 1,000, moving the decimal, we have one, two, three places to the right. We have two missing digits, which we replace with zero giving us 500 for the product.
Next we have 1.78 times 1,000. Move the decimal three places to the right. One, two, and three. We have one missing digit. The product is 1,780. And finally we have 3.423 times 1,000. Moving the decimal, we have one, two, three places to the right. No missing digits. The product is 3,423. I hope you found this helpful.